this because not on point, sir. Not on point. There it is. All right, all right. Uh, just a quick announcement. Uh, we do have Mahogany in the back. She's taking pictures. Please talk to her or see her if you guys are interested. Uh, she's got some great prices for you guys. Uh, and I think we, we have Danielle back there now also as bartending. And so clap it up for her. She needs to hear it. She's got like a titty out, but it's like cover or something like that. We do an open mic here every single Monday. So if anybody's ever thought about doing comedy or just want to come and laugh for free on Monday nights, please come here. We do comedy on the other room and then we do a Friday show every other Friday. Coming to the stage now is your feature. He is also from Texas. Please put your hands together. The Wolf. I was speeding on the way over here. Everybody on the freeway was speeding. But I got the ticket. Now, now this is bullshit, right? Everybody's speeding, everybody gets a ticket. That's my mentality. So I let the cop have it. When he came to the window, I just tore him apart. I said, hello, fat ass. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to give me a ticket for speeding. Everybody was speeding. You should give everybody a ticket, not just me. Oh, I know I don't. That little pussy ass Camaro is a toy. The department gave it to you because they don't respect you, they don't like you. They don't have value or faith in you. And that's why your partner is sleeping with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> he did the weirdest thing. <laughs> he did this. Roll down your window, sir. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> so I did, but I had to hold the glass before it falls inside the door. <laughs> What did you say? And I repeated it because I am a man. <laughs> Verbatim. I said, Your Majesty, did I pull over far enough from the side of the road for you to have enough room free of traffic so you can write that ticket for speeding? I said, No, man, everybody was speeding. You should give everybody a ticket. But he got me. He goes, Son, you ever go fishing with you? You ever catch all the fish in the lake? <laughs> no, but if I catch one, I'll let him go. <laughs> I saw that my girlfriend's son, 17 year old Albert, talks at a million miles an hour, blends every idea, every subject into one sentence with one breath. I said, Albert, 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 no, stop, 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 stop. Segways, bro. Huh? Segways. You need to start something, say something, stop, pause, segue. Something new, segue. Something different, segue. Makes everything cohesive. He's like, hey, well, thanks a lot for that. And cool. Then later I heard him say, Mom, I'm going to the store. He's like, okay, we're going to be careful. I will. Segue, do you want anything? Segue. <laughs> he looks at me, he's all like, that really worked out, bro. Thanks a lot, Wolf. Hey, you a gentleman in a scholarship. <laughs> Segway, do you need anything from the store? <laughs> Albert, you don't know how to learn. <laughs> Segway, I'm not going to make any jokes about racism. Everybody does it. I'm not going to make any jokes about current events, because I don't need the paper. No pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I said no! I'm not going to make any jokes about tragedies because listen, there's no sense in kicking somebody when they're already down. What we need as a world, as a unit, as a room tonight, but we need unity, we need peace, and we need love. And if you can't do that shit, please raise your arm and then get the fuck out. I said no pictures, okay? Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> where was I? No, I'm like, where, where, where are you? <laughs> Listen, uh, we want we want to be hypocrites, right? We we just don't want to do that because there's too many hypocrites in the world, right? There's uh, the religious people that hate the gay people. But if you really think about it, the underlying tone, religious versus gays, is what? 
I'll ask you, sir. What is it that the Christians are fighting the gays against? What is it? What is it? Now I'll ask you this one more time. What are they fighting about? They have the same operation, the same modus operandi. Both gays and Christians are just trying to shove it down your throat. <laughs> not your throat, like, but his throat. No, not you, because you're black belt. I see what you did there. You misdirected it. Are you Christian or? I'm gay. You're gay? As long as you're not a gay Christian, because you can't be double dipping, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which is all right. My dad said, listen, Wolf, Wolf, son, you got to be tolerant of everybody. Dark skinned ones. And if you put everybody in a bus, everybody's green, right? Some asshole's going to be like, okay, all you dark green guys go to the back of this. That ain't cool. My dad said, listen, you gotta care about everybody. If there's a guy and he's gay and he's just happy, leave him alone. And you think about that and it's true. Leave people alone. Live and let live, right? That's what my new motto is. New me, new you, new 2115. I don't know what year we're in because I do a lot of cocaine. But listen, listen. <laughs> if a guy's jumping up and down going, yummy, 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 there's a dick in my tummy, leave him alone. <laughs> he's happy, he ain't hurting anybody. Yeah. That's my dad's hobby. My dad, um, my mom and my dad divorced when we were very little. He never left the house though, so we always thought he was our older brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the weird thing about that is like my dad always jumped at these telemarketing phone calls when we were kids and he bought every service, every product, and I was his interpreter because he didn't speak very good Spanish or English. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the kind of guy that whenever he would try to do like an English accent, he would sound normal. <laughs> all right, not all the jokes are gonna be hits, everybody. But stay with me. We're gonna go into the valleys and under the peaks and all that. So my dad got a phone call from AT&T. They were they were promoting an international new subscriber line, free calls to Mexico. And he answers the phone like, "Qué quiere? ¿Qué quiere? ¿Por qué está llamando?" Uh, we call from AT&T about the INS service. Oh, INS? Don't come. We're going back to Mexico tomorrow. Click. <laughs> We're citizens. What's wrong with you? And so he ended up taking the off and asked for his information, right? His name is Jose Guadalupe Zuniga. The lady, and this is not me being racist, my black brothers. She keeps saying, uh, your last name is Zuniga? Are you sure? <laughs> like, no, it's Spanish. It's Zuniga. You're saying Zuniga, but listen, let's just keep going, right? <laughs> So now here we are with Mr. Zoom Nigga. <laughs> I've set in the international long distance in Mexico, and I'm his interpreter. He's like, okay, so your son's gonna help you out? He's like, yeah, he's he very smart. Oh, is he going to school? Yeah, he, he going to MIT. Wow. MIT? Wow, you must be very proud. Yeah, it's because MIT gets international tracking. It's very hard to get into. <laughs> Oh, he's got a PhD. Oh, he's got a PhD. Oh my God, he must be super proud. Yes, PhD, his speech in high school diploma. I was just a little kid on the other line. I was just, yeah. So when they asked him for, for, to spell his last name and his middle name, he just totally messed it up. He's like, uh, you, what do you want? Uh, well, just spell your, your middle name because I'm having trouble with it. Hey, Guadalupe. His name's Jose Guadalupe, what I look at is like a deal of me. When I look at me, I'm just like, okay, they won't kill you. Just a little bit. When I look at it, it's the two. And the two. And you, like what I look at. And the pain is the pain. 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 Okay, so got it, got it, easy. What's your address? And we lived on this beautiful street in the ghetto. The street's name was Golden Meadows. My dad's like, my address? 3511 Golden Meadows. <laughs> no. No. That's my address. My dad does the most incredibly absurd things. It's preposterous. He does this stuff, like... He had a birthday party, and during the birthday party, he uh, he had a stroke, and uh, because of the stroke, you know, uh, he's like half paralyzed on his left side. Nobody knew he was having a stroke. I just thought he wanted to come to cake with his face. <laughs> and now he walks like this. He's like, hey, you want to drag his foot? But the Alzheimer's kicks in, then he drags the other one. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the cops uh, broke off an area one time. It was an accident. Everybody, all the Mexicans, they always want to check this stuff out. Like, 
those pebbles. And my dad wanted to see too. And the cop says the same thing over and over. He's like, guys, go home. Go home. There's nothing to see here. Go. Disperse. Disperse. My dad's like, disperse the Lakers. <laughs> But I moved out to Phoenix, just like everybody else moved out to Phoenix. I love it out here, man. And I'm going to say this to you, you guys are, are a beautiful city. I'm from El Paso, Texas, and I love my hometown, but I didn't want to be there anymore. And I love this city. You guys have a rocking city. And you know what? Arizona Cardinal fans, you did a great job. Give it up for that. Yeah. Awesome job. You guys did. I'm proud of your You guys should be very proud of your city and of your team. Please be safe. We are. Okay. Now. All right. Yeah, gold cards, baby. Gold cards. And uh, go penny if you have a <laughs> But it's, it's nice being out here, man. Uh, I moved out here. I met a girl. I met her at Whataburger of all places. And Whataburger, dude, like the hottest chicks. Look at Whataburger. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm at Whataburger. I'm single. I just moved out here. I don't know where I'm going to live yet. Because I just actually just left. <laughs> and so I placed my order, and she goes, hey, can I get your number? I'm like, hello. 915-502-4874. She goes, no, and with a water bag order, and I give it to me. Hey, this people in line, get out of the way. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. And it's cool because, you know, I live in a great spot being out here in the city. Uh, let me get out of here. Lighthouse. Black people, they're not allowed. Uh, I mean, uh, they're not allowed to come in without a fat chick. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, you're at the door? Okay, come on. Can you guys turn off your cell phones, right? If you're gonna turn it off, you can put them on, like, the loudest ringtone. That's not a regular 1980s ringtone and shit. I'm so embarrassed because of my foot. No. <laughs> I have OCD, man. That, that, that shit takes, like, 80 days to put on, and I took it off that stupid joint. It didn't really work. Go down to the belly, and up to the feet. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fat chicks, guys. You know which chicks I like the most? The big fat brown chicks with the big fat round body and a regular size head. <laughs> what the hell? No, no, not what the hell. These are the chicks. Have you been with a fat chick? All right. Okay. Nice. Trying to do like the things to the white people. They're all fat behind you. <laughs> Just use the pickle. You, you want to be with these big girls. You, know? you want to be with the big girls. Because uh, they have the best attitude. They always have like the coolest things to say, positive attitude. Like you get a skinny chick and that bitch is be like, I'm single, yeah, I'm ready to mingle, I'm ready to have a slut. That's just a little bit different. They're like positive all the time. Like, I'm single, yeah, pass me the Pringles. <laughs> and when you get on top of one of these creatures, you know what I mean? You get on top of one of these monsters and they're up there, high up there, and you're just like, oh, Shit, how the fuck do I get down from here? All these bitches are asleep. <laughs> I'm like, baby, uh, can we turn off the light? Oh my god, are you shy? Shy? No, bitch. Don't you smell that shit? It's burning hair. The light was burning my hair. <laughs> and all my black friends are like, whoa, whoa. I like the fat girls too because of this small cushion full of pushing. I'm like, no, bro, I'm Mexican. I see a fat girl. I don't think a cushion full of pushing. I think there's food in that fridge. <laughs> Thank you guys. My name is Wolf. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the show. Have a great day. Shoe off and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like he was at the airport right now. That's good. <laughs>